because I refuse to not be first. Do we do enough? Well, I never shut up about it. Uh, it must have been about 17, 16, 17. We need their guilt wins. Right, the bouncer's guilt wins. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day. This is Colin McGuigan for IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. <laughs> Delighted to be joined by Kurt Walker. Kurt, we're less than a week out from your big fight in Galway. First time as a pro in the south of Ireland. How are you feeling? Good, mate. Um, training's been brilliant. I'm looking forward to getting in now and getting the year started. I do need to ask you as well, you, you're based in a camp. You work closely with Michael Conlon. He's part of your management team. He's also a stable mate with you in the boxing booth, Jim. How... How is it being around someone like Mick? Like I, I've listened to the Lewis Cropper this week talk about his mentality, similar to that of like Kobe Bryant. I think he referred to him as. What's it like being around Mick? Um, it's different. Uh, it's brilliant for me to have someone. It's brilliant for both of us to have someone there. It's very boring when you're by yourself all the time. But uh, the head school you if if you're not feeling like doing something, he'll get you to do it. It's kind of the other, well, mostly him, but like sometimes there's other ways of it. But uh, nah, it's ninety nine percent him. It's good to have him there. We're training for the same kind of dates all the time now, so we're always doing the same kind of camp. You know, when you start your sparring a certain time out, we're doing a lot of the same. So, nah, it's brilliant. What What's it like being around someone who's preparing for a world title fight? Because for you in your career, surely that's vital for your preparation going forward and and for your future. No, uh, it's just it's different. It's a different kettle of fish whenever you see the top of the top training for the biggest performance of their lives and you see what I'm going to have to do whenever I get there so it's good to have an idea of how hard I have to go and and it's it's surprising how hard I actually thought I never thought it would be that hard but the way he trains it would be a shame not to win a world title with his talent and his, his work ethic In terms of Kurt Walker you've, you've now had time to gel with Jose Fake while you're your head coach in the boxing booth Jim what can we see from Kurt Walker this time around? Um, we've been working a lot on just slowing down, trying to stay on my legs a bit more, but still keeping my, my natural boxing ability where I can move and be fast, that kind of stuff. So it's just a more about finding find the perfect balance. Also working on my strength a lot more. I know that's going to take time, but there's there's improvements, small improvements, but it's about adding on every fight and trying to get the best out of this fight that I can and push me towards the next one. Tell me in terms of this, this fight, do we know who your opponent is going to be? Yes. Uh, what what kind of style do you have to adapt to that opponent if you do know at the moment? I think um I watched him only one clip of him really Brazilian, but I don't think I need to adapt to anything to fit him. It it suits me down to the ground. You know, it's a good shaped guy who punches hard. Four wins he has a, only has four knockouts where he, he puts everything into his punches, but it's where I have to be switched on at all times, and I think that suits me best when I'm in against someone like that because I can't make no mistakes and then that's where you'll see the best of me when I'm when I'm hitting the move. When you see your sta- a stable mate in terms of a common boxing stable and Kerr Malloy headlining in his home city, does that give you a bit of a, a spur on as such that you want to do this in Belfast going forward? Yeah, 100%. It's, it's massive for Kieran to bring boxing back to Galway and, you know, and they love it down there. They just don't get, they don't get many opportunities and hopefully this is the start of it for them but it's good, but obviously boxing Belfast has been here for many years. But as you know, I'm from Lisbon, so I'd like to do my own show in Belfast. There's no venues in Lisbon, but you know it'd be good for even my local hoop supporters to support me. Like, and in terms of you, if you come through this fight unscathed, no cuts, nothing wrong with you, you will fight in Belfast. Jamie Conlon says on mix yeah. of their card. How special of a night does that look like? Massive. I I think that would be the best night so far of, of my career um even last year fighting Wembley Wembley was massive but it wasn't it wasn't the best the best night I think August was the best the best night on mixed fight against Mariaga that was class you know that was the best experience I've had as a as a pro and it's up there with the amateurs as well it, it was amazing with the crowd and I think this will be the the best the best thing of my career 2023 for Kurt Walker, this is a year that you want to be busy, a year that you want to move on to the next level. What does it look like at the end of this year for you, Kurt? Um, 
whatever Jamie says, I don't really, I haven't even asked him. I'll probably ask him here when I see next week. Now, but I'm easy. I know, I know a way I can be moved because of my, my amateur background. I know I can be put in there fast, and I probably will. It doesn't suit me to fight opponents who are not there to win because it, it actually makes me look bad. I don't get up for it as much. So the better the opponent, the better I'll be. And if, if titles come with it, then happy days. In terms of yourself going forward across in the US, you missed out on an opportunity there due to the cut that you sustained at Wembley. Is that something that you've got on your radar for the rest of 2023, a fight in the US? Yeah, 100%. You know, we talked, as you talked about last year, maybe you can get out there twice this year. You know, I'll be back out in May and then maybe hopefully in the summer get out there in America. I think it was supposed to be June last year I was with there, but even if I can get one in June or July this year, it would be perfect for me. Um, I want to go out. I want to experience it. I've been to mixed fights over there. I think only went once, but it, it was crazy. So in I'm terms of forward. you as well and, and who you want in, in the division, you're not one that really calls people out, but you, you gave me a bit, of, a bit of an idea last time that you like the Isaac Lowe fight. Who who do you want to look at going forward? Is Isaac Lowe on your radar? Mate, as I, don't, I don't, I'm not in the position to call people out. You know, whenever I see people calling people out who... Who, aren't a, who don't have the reputation to do it, it, it annoys me, so I'm not going to do it, but I want big fights, and I know because of what I've done in the years of boxing that I can, they can be made easily because I can be fast-tracked. If, it has, if, it, if Isaac Lowe's there and he wants it, I'll fight him no problem. If it's anyone else in the division who's a great fight for me, like some, it needs to be smart, it needs to be something that's going to put me forward for, for bigger fights going into 2024, and it needs to, it needs to mean something. Well, Kurt, thank you so much for your time. We'll catch up again fight week. I really appreciate it and good luck on Friday night. No problem. Make good, man. See it every day.